What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the uh, NHL announcing there will be no 24/7 on HBO this year, which you know we'll get to in a second, and also that the Winter Classic will be played at uh, National Stadium, not not FedEx Field, where the Washington Redskins play. Am I allowed to say Washington Redskins? I don't know. Sorry if I offend anyone. But it's, you know, need to handle that. Going a step further, I, yeah, I think the baseball park is a better place to do it. Um, I've been to that field. It is an amazing field. And the other thing is, it's it's in Washington. I, I'm pretty sure FedEx Field is pretty far. Not say pretty far outside, but um, you know, I guess it's a pain in the ass. It's the last stop on the train uh, line going there. But yeah, I've been to National Stadium. Uh, I went to a game six, seven years ago, um, and it's, it's a great ballpark. And you know, I can I, they'll really put on a good display there. Um, you know, the Capitals will. In short, it's an experience to remember, and uh, you know, again, I, I like it. You know, that's I think it's a good place to have the game. Twenty four seven. Last season sucked. Like, let's be honest, it was awful. Um, you know, David Clarkson getting pissy and pissy over a water bottle was cute, but that was pretty much it. I mean, nothing else kind of stood out as you know being worth watching. I mean, I watched every episode, um, but still, it's like that, that's the best you can do. Uh, I think the first year, the Capitals and Penguins was the best season. Um, you know, I, I just think you know, yeah, the, the big names with Crosby, with Evgeny Malkin, with Ovechkin, uh, Baxter, guys like that, and then you know, uh, Brucey Boudreaux really, uh, really, really lighting in a, a few things with a lot of explicit, explicit language, um, which was you know, need a hand on that, hey, whatever. Um, but he's not seen it this year, which sucks. Um, you know, it's not going to be on. I think Barry Trotz would be interesting. I met Barry Trotz at the NHL draft on Phil. You shook his hand and wished him luck with the Capitals. You know, seemed like a guy. Um, and, you know, I think that the uh, the league needs as many selling points as it can get, and I think the 24-7 thing was a great way to sell it. As bad as last year was, uh, I was still, again, watched every episode. So, you know, you can expand your demographics and, you know, really... Uh, hockey's a, a game that really is kind of faceless players, you know, I think part of it is it's not as big, so you're not seeing guys, you know, you, that are transcending the game as much um, as you do with other sports, you know, that there is no Tom Brady or, or LeBron James type, you know what I mean, where they're, you know, they're, they're celebrities outside of their sport, and, um, you know, I think being able to show, you know, guys like Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, um, you know, for the Blackhawks and, you know, the guys, the aforementioned guys for the Capitals would be awesome, but, you know, I'm sure there's a reason behind it, and uh, I'm disappointed it won't be on TV this year. So I think both teams are, are, you know, pretty good, exciting teams to watch, and they got good personality, good moxie um, throughout their lineup. So, bottom line, kind of disappointed in the NHL, but uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. The teams might not might not have wanted to do it either, which is, you know, it's like hard knocks, which sucks this year, by the way. Uh, certain teams haven't wanted to do that in the past. So, like for example, the New England Patriots went to high knocks. Um, Bill Belichick would not allow that. Just, just saying. But uh, anyway, that's why I can step sort of the power play with CJ on the NHL announcing the Winter Classic location and um, announcing it will be no 24/7 this year. Stay tuned for more episodes for the off season and beyond. Later, guys.